It's only game. Why you have to be mad? Actually, let's go ahead and talk about this. Uh, this is the next thing that we got to talk about is the rewards and how wonky they are. They are. Uh, thanks again to Calorie Fair for this amazing spreadsheet, this amazing document. You can find it on my event channel if you are looking for this uh, for this page. So here's the uh, here's the shop. Uh, legendary Gift of the Dominion, value based on Rarity Fair value of getting Nebula from orange four to red. Still one of the best values if it was only 40,000 emeralds. So this is the highest value item. Of course, it's going to take a long time to save up 72,000 coins. Uh, Alucard's amulet is good. And it is cheaper than Sphere of Power, which is uh, roughly the same item to build. Uh, throwing Knives is a good item, as well as the Harunian Helm. All right, so these three items, let's take a look at these three items. Alucard's Amulet, Throwing Knives, and the Harunian Helm. I was surprised this morning in my mail, I'd open around 2,500, 3,000 for the Sexful Defense. Yeah. Where's the break point? Like, where, what is worth 26? Okay, actually, we can see this. So... The emerald value of a uh, Harunian helm is 1600. The Her the uh, uh, Harunian helm is 1600 emeralds according to Rarity Fair. So the value of $11.29 during a times four sale is 12,600. So $11.29 at a times four sale at VIP 14 will get you 12,600 emeralds. If, uh, if according to Rarity Fair, a Harunian Helm is worth 1,600 emeralds, then all you have to do is do this eight times. Once you do this eight times, you break even. Actually, it's better after eight. Now, aside from this, aside from this, aside from this, first of all, it is worth your money if you are going to spend two to three hours with this method. If you're going to spend two to three hours abusing this mechanic, then the $11 or whatever is worth it. But on a given day, on a given day, after today, is it worth it to really go crazy in this event? Uh, you get five attempts to start and you gain one per hour up to a max of five. So you start with five and then you get one per hour up to a max of five. That means you have to log in once every five hours. So, you know, the average person is awake 16 hours a day. You need to log in right when you wake up and then twice more through the day to use all of your attacks. Uh, you're going to get at most 15 attacks a day. We're not talking about just people on my server we're fighting. We're talking about every Facebook player that exists in the world is going to be competing for those top rankings. All right, now you might think that you're able to pull rank one in Arena daily on your server, but you're missing 10 very important heroes. Well, eight and a half very important heroes. And the whales, the people that have maxed accounts or close to maxed accounts or 30 maxed heroes or over, you know, there, there's a lot of people that are between 30 and 60 maxed heroes, right? Those players are going to dominate the top. So me personally, after today, this event is not fun enough. This event is not fun enough for me to continue to spend on it. I will not spend any emeralds for additional attempts. I will log in two or three times a day, use up all my attempts so that I don't uh, cap my attempts for the day. And uh, yeah. Uh, looking at the scoring, if I really want to get first place, holy crap, I'll just abuse this cheat mechanic today for three to four times. If I do it three to four times, that's nine to ten, that's nine to twelve thousand coins. That's like being in first place. I don't care about this avatar frame. It's a cool avatar frame, sure. I don't care about it. I don't care about it. Some people do. So I'm not going to worry about it after today. This event should have had maxed heroes. It should have had maxed heroes with bands, in my opinion. That is just my opinion. I feel it. I see it a lot. A lot of people complain about it. Vocal minority, sure. But my opinion, if they wanted to make this more accessible to everyone, to actually use it as a learning tool, it would have been such a great... Guys, it would have been such an amazing learning tool. What do you mean Jorgen is good? What do you mean that, that Satori is good? What do you mean? It would be such a great learning tool. Now, if you run out of, if you run out of attempts, it costs 250 emeralds to get more attempts. Without the unlimited attempts in the day, or spending emeralds to retry, without having that, do you, do you really, like the, the emeralds spend compared to the items in here, is it good enough? Is it worth, this just seems, after today, this just seems like a really limited resource event. Like a really, really, really limited resource event. It's hard to accumulate coins outside of the basic tasks if you are not buying the one day free, uh, the, the one day free stuff. It's really hard to accumulate coins outside of these daily tasks or these um, uh, event tasks.
It's just, it's not easy. Wouldn't you at least get as many coins as if you only spent 12,600 emeralds? Um, Jeffrey, if I got 12,600 emeralds, then that is an argument, I suppose. If I spent that 12,600 emeralds on, like, uh, opening outland chests, for example, would I get as many coins? I don't know. I don't know. Buying emeralds would, you know, give me VIP points for this task right here. Uh, and, uh... Business mindset, spinning emeralds, uh, spinning emeralds. Yeah, I mean, you could argue that just spinning the money on the emeralds might be a better strategy. Do you get VIP points for buying the unlimited pass? 100% no, Ryan. No, you do not. I tested it myself. I feel like this is a wasted opportunity for learning, me personally.